viewer, thanks for joining me. I'm Terry Edmonds, and I think you're watching this video to see how I do this amazing project. <laughs> if you have landed on this page, it means you're watching the replay of my Amazon Live show that I do every Friday from 9 to 9.45, where I demonstrate how I use all of my supplies that are offered on my Amazon shopping cart. You can see all of these Amazon Live videos on my Amazon Live playlist on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe. Aloha viewers, thank you for joining me. Uh, here in Hawaii, we are in Maui. I am Terry Edmonds and we are watching on my Amazon Live show. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, <clears throat> we are in Hawaii and so I thought I really like to do a little show and tell. I'm going to give you guys a picture of one of my very favorite beaches that I like to go to after I exercise. I like to go ahead and uh, jump in the ocean. Do this. Yeah, gorgeous that is. Just simply beautiful. And uh, the weather's been nice here. I know it's winter time in other places, so I wanted to share a little bit of sunshine with my viewers. Today is gonna be about cleaning, dyeing, and painting shoes. And I'm gonna show you some of my favorite shoe repair uh, supplies that are all listed in the shopping carousel right down below. If you are watching this on the replay on my YouTube channel, uh, then I'm just gonna show you the easy way to get there is go to my uh, website, terryedmonds.com, and it takes you right here to my Amazon uh, shopping button. And it's super easy to get there. And here we are at my Amazon shopping cart with all of my awesome supplies. There we are live today. But these are my shopping lists, and uh, today, I have um, included things from my uh, painting, dyeing, and cleaning list. Um, I happen to, for any of you that watch, that <laughs> follow, <clears throat> you know that I love my blue uh, paint brushes. I use them all the time. I brag about them. Well, I just found them this morning in pink. So guess who's getting pink paint brushes? <laughs> I love it. So that's really great. I mean, they're Amazon showing them for $6.99, but the prices change and I, they're always reasonable. Okay, so here we go. Uh, feel free if you guys would like to chat with me today, send me any comments and questions as we go. I am going to uh, review some questions that I've had from <clears throat> since our last meeting together. And I'm also gonna show you uh, some projects that we worked on last week just move this. So last week we also did cleaning. I do a lot of that in my shoe repair business called If The Shoe Fits. I am Maui's only shoe cobbler and so I'm a very busy girl. And last week we did some cleaning and I don't know if you recall uh, but this shoe had a really big uh, dark black stain here and also a little on the front. I cleaned it with my very favorite uh, Easy Suede Cleaner. I offer it on the shopping cart. Let's just scroll there. On the shopping cart, they have it in the eight ounce bottle. <clears throat> they're, <clears throat> excuse me, they're offering $7 right now for it. Prices change, but it's always a really reasonable product. I use a lot of it, so I'm using my gallon. And then I also have in the shopping carousel uh, this nice little cleaning brush. And this is actually what I used on this suede. I first tested to make sure that the suede was durable to handle this. This is a very firm brush. It almost feels like what's on, like a barbecue brush and really got in there and cleaned it. And now afterwards you just come and fluff it up a little bit of that. Anyway, I think the client's going to be really happy. This is a very expensive shoe. It's got built in arch support and uh, it happens to be called a Het Comfort H E T T E. Maybe I'll find something on Amazon so you guys can try it. All right, and then last week we also did a um, Louis Vuitton bag. I cleaned this 
uh, inside and out. And I went ahead and treated this. So this uh, was, I first tried it with some shoe polish. I told you I was gonna do that, but I ended up going over it with an Angelus paint in the tan. I think it was called English tan. And I ended up painting it. Uh, the other way, it just wasn't um, enough coverage. This is, you know, it gets knocked around. You've got your heavy office supplies and stuff in it. And so I did the English tan first. And then I went around the edges with a Q-tip and this dark brown um, Angelus paint. So that made it give it kind of a finished look on the outside. I think she's, the client's going to be very, very happy with that. And then uh, that same client also had some Ferragamo. Uh, this is a very tricky color to work with. It usually has to be a custom mix, which I use. I mean, I have the whole collection of Angelus paints, almost all of them. So it's quite a, the color combination. Plus this has a bit of pearl to it. So um, I mixed in a little bit of pearl. I cleaned it. Then I did some spot painting, you know, as much as I could do within the budget but some of the old glue on the shoe had uh, dried there over the years. This is a very old shoe. And so it was kind of a yellow color. So I went through and just touched up wherever the glue was and it definitely gave it a much more elevated uh, job. So that was great. This was one of the other projects that we worked on last week. This was a cleaning, another Louis Vuitton, right? And this stuff, you know, cleans as much as can be expected, but it had a lot of other surface dirt on it. So I went through with some Q-tips and some uh, thinner and just lightly, you know, touched up some of the top areas that were really pretty dirty. And so I think she'll be really happy with that as well. Uh, we're kind of doing some of the similar things today, but I thought they were kind of fun. So let's go over this together. All right. Thank you for the stars. I love the stars. Thanks for watching everybody. <clears throat> so today I had a client send this to me. Uh, this is a, she, I have two pairs of these for her and I've taken off the sole. I'm going to put a new sole on here, but uh, this is pretty typical where a shoe is paint on fabric. Well, I think this is leather, but it's painted. It's not like a dyed leather. So, um, it, and it's flaking. I wanted to be sure to take off all the paint so that when I put my glue and my sole on there that it'll stick. So um, also the thing I like to do is before I put that sole on, I'm gonna put my own paint and it won't peel. I'm gonna do a nice thin la layer, but I wanna be sure to see these edges right here. I can't wait till I have my pink paint brushes. Okay, so we have these edges right here, and if I don't touch them up before I put the sole on, it's gonna be really hard to get in there and not actually you know, paint the sole. So that's gonna be one. Here's another one. This is a Charles uh, by Charles David, and it needed to be glued. This is an example of paint on fabric. And over time, the paint ages and gets really, uh, dust like if you hear noises that's just the business next to us that's great anyway um i'm gonna go through and i glued this shoe back together and now i want to put on a nice see how ugly it looks right now but i have angela's paint and a nice little paintbrush and i'm gonna go over it and make it look nice and new for her this actually was an expensive shoe so we'll do that we're also going to use the, um, and I'm going to do some touch up paint on this as well. What, after I do my glue job, I want to hide the glue so you can't see that. So we'll work on that. All right, this is pretty cool. We're going to touch base on this. Look at this dirty old shoe. <laughs> I have sanitized it in my uh, uh, ultraviolet and it sat overnight in the ozone. So I'll clean it, we'll dye it, polish it, and it's going to look amazing this boot here all right so this boot is so old <laughs> it's a danner and the guy just beat the heck out of it and it's really dry so i am going to apply my lincoln uh, leather lotion and it'll i'll probably do one coat with us today but it 
ultimately really should have three or four coats. And so he's paying me to do it. I glued the soles back together and uh, he has a giant hole right in here. So I filled it with some contact cement. I'm gonna probably do a little bit more today and hammer it together and it would be amazing actually. So it's, ama it's amazing what you can do with old looking things and you can just completely upgrade your, your closet and do a lot of the stuff from home, okay? It just, it is easy enough. So um, in the shopping carousel, let's go and see that together. So this time I added a link. These are my very favorite latex gloves. I put them in there and then I also put this other, a heavier rubber glove because something like this, you know, these, um, these gloves are pretty thin. So if I, I would take this into probably a sink with some hot water and I'd use the heavier duty gloves and really scrub it. Um, so that's what I put those in there for. And then I also included uh, my, a selection of Angelus paints, which is always fun. And those pink paint brushes. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. All right, so let's get going. My paint brushes. I use all of them. I do the multi-pack, which is why I put the bigger package on there. They're so affordable, you guys. Um, I think, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and paint this first and then once it dries, I'll come through later and clean it. We don't need to do that together today. The painting is definitely really fun. So I've picked a color that's pretty darn close. And um, I really like the Angelus paints. They're pretty, they stay pretty liquid. Got a nice little, these are the, uh, these are the one ounce little jars. And they come in so many different colors. Uh, I think at some point we'll do some creative shoe designing. If you guys wanna join me sometime and work with all the fun stuff, we'll do rhinestones and painting. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, just gonna go through, I'm gonna try to do a nice straight line Make it look like it's intentional. This is the part of the shoe, the, the shoe that it actually is gonna be hidden underneath. So, um, let me go. I just wanna do a nice light line. The original sole on this went up around the shoe and it was rubber. And so it started to disintegrate, which happens with rubber over time. And so this gal really loves these shoes. She saw one of my videos on the YouTube channel and wrote me through my website, terryedmonds.com and asked if I would take a look at these for her. And they were definitely doable. I really liked that. It wasn't goopy. Sometimes the rubber gets really goopy and I don't like to put it on my sander, but let's look at this. See, goes on really nicely. It's an acrylic. It is so easy to work with. Oh yeah, there we go. Very nice. And so I don't know from where you're watching. I was doing a little search yesterday. I was looking at my YouTube channel and you know, it's really fun. We, I have viewers from Australia, from India, uh, Vietnam. I mean, it is so cool all around the globe. I love that. I think shoes are kind of a universal language. So here we are. I think I'm only gonna do one coat. It's gonna be just fine. It's just cleaning it up, making it look nice. Let's see, I think you guys can see here. And here we go. I think if any of you are out there and you have certain, you know, if you know of some brushes you like or some paints that you like, you can always put that in the chat there. Maybe other people will uh, be interested in investigating it. Um, I did get a question from a, uh, a client I meant to check with you guys. Let's talk about it for a minute. She wrote in and asked if, um, is it possible to fix Birkenstock leather straps from water damage? 
And absolutely, yes it is. Uh, the only trick is if you've actually gotten the shoe wet and then put it in the sun to dry. Sometimes that'll curl the leather and make it really hard and it can shrink it. So I, I always suggest when you clean your shoes or however, if they've gotten wet, dry them not in direct sunlight. A nice breezy area is a great place to do it. Um, so yeah, it's the same thing like with uh, salt. If you've got salt on the sidewalks and it's on your shoes and you've got salt marks, you can use this cleaner uh, to take it off. All right, so we'll get some paper towels. All right. Anyway. It's the weekend. I think a lot of people watched the Super Bowl last weekend. Um, but we went to the beach. <laughs> that was our Super Bowl Sunday. It was really nice. All right, there we go. Um, any of you viewers that are following me that have bought any of the shoe stretching supplies, um, let me know how you like them. Uh, any comments on those? I haven't gotten my pink ones in yet. I have ordered them though. Very nice. I really like this square brush. It's a small square. Uh, it's about a quarter of an inch and it is um, very easy to use. And I was always taught to kind of do it at a 45 degree angle. Go. And we'll just finish up this last section. I have a plumbing business that's right behind my store and they're always dropping pipes and stuff. It's so crazy. They must just throw things down. Anyway, uh, sometimes we have, a, if you ever see a hula group, they're called a halal. And um, I have a halal right next door to us. So sometimes if we get lucky, we'll hear some live Hawaiian music when they're practicing. We get to hear that music while I work. It's so cool. I don't know how many of you have been to Maui, but it's pretty awesome. Very special in Hawaii. All right, so now I think I'm gonna go quickly. I'm just gonna go a little bit further in. I wanna make sure that I don't see any white. Look how easy I'm just gonna swipe right around there. Let's put a little more paint on here. I surprisingly use a lot of paint in my business, uh, paint and dye. It's, it's the difference between looking like your shoe is still broken or having it look like it's never been repaired because it looks so nice. My mentor always said, make it look like you, they, so they can't see that you've been there. Okay. There we are. Okay. Um, as I mentioned, this is new paint. It's not going to peel. I mean, it would be years before this would ever get dry enough for it to peel. So it'll stick, I can stick really nicely to it. Even if I wanted to, I was concerned about it. I could rough it up with some sandpaper and it'll be fine. So there we go. I'm gonna leave it as it is. Look at my cute little girl. Somebody gave this to me. When you get on a shoe store, people buy you a lot of shoe gifts. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Let's do these blue Charles Davids. And I just chose the sapphire. It's a nice close color and anything looks better than it does right now. Um, on the underneath, I actually sanded all of the paint off, but I didn't want to come up to the top. I didn't want to have to just totally repaint the shoe. Um, I do this kind of as a gratuitous service, so I didn't want to go overboard. All right, I think I'm going to stick with, here we go. Uh, the Angelus is, let's do this, here. Okay, so here we go. 
uh, all of the uh, paints come with a brush in the lid, which is very nice. I don't use it very often because I like a little more detail. And so I'm using again my uh, almost a quarter inch and I'm just gonna go in here and touch up. These, these have dried overnight. Let's see if I can do this so you can see better. So it'll definitely look better. And of course I'm painting it with the shoe facing this way so that if it did drip, it would not drip on the cork. <clears throat> that would be very hard to get off. Here we go. I hope you guys can see this all right. It's kind of tricky. Here we go. And we're just going to do this. Oh. Rest it down here. So really, it's about taking your time. If you don't automatically find the color that you're looking for with Angelus, uh, you know, there are a lot of videos out there about how to mix color. I do a lot of that myself. I mix a lot of my custom colors, especially the beiges, the golds, all of that. Oh, looks like we have the landscapers mowing out there today. So beautiful. Yes, we have, we have beautiful Hawaiian plants growing outside that have flowers and you walk past them and they smell so gorgeous. All right, so there we go. And I'm going to do this, as you can see, that this little edge here. You know, in my shoe store called If The Shoe Fits, I sell Danner work boots. And that guy out there is wearing a pair of Danner work boots <laughs> doing his landscaping. It's great. And I guess I picked the wrong day to do this. That's great. I'm glad we're all together. All right, here we go. This is beautiful. I used to carry Charles Jordans in my store. Um, I did a lot of really dressy. I'm even coming over this little uh, elastic. Just cleaned up the glue on that. Isn't that nice? So it's already looking way better. go and we'll just do this little side in here um what a difference okay well at least they're taking care of the place <laughs> it's almost we had chickens the last time so that's really funny okay let's keep moving so i'm also on this shoe, I'm only touching up where this black patent, this is paint on fabric. And so it was cracky, crackly and cracked. Let's try that. And it peels and then the sole can't stick to it. It's like trying to glue sand. So um, you wanna scrape it all off, get rid of the dust. There's a layer of dust in there. And then, um, so now it's gone. So I'm gonna go ahead and just touch it up. And I'm using the, just a regular Angelus Black. And it's just a small area, so I think I'm gonna go with, uh, again, my little blue uh, paint brushes. Let's see the name of them. There are a lot of different vendors that provide these brushes. They look exactly the same. This one is Academy Art Supply, but there are a lot of vendors that offer it, so do this and I'm just gonna touch up this area it just makes such a difference look at that there we go okay 
and I'm just doing that area. I'm not going to do the whole back. That'll be fine. And there were a couple of others. She's got the same patents right here. So I'm just going to touch up the edges so it hides the work. There we go. Very nice. Okay. And so we'll let those dry. And while they're drying, let's move on to another uh, project. I'll finish all these off after the show. Okay. So cleaning, everything can use a good cleaning. Uh, this uh, product helps um, deter mold and it can be used on anything. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead, we're going to get, we're going to start here. Oh, look at this cool detail and grab our little towel. Plus I do like to use an apron because it can be kind of messy. I always feel like Mr. Rogers when he <laughs> changed his, his sweater and his shoes, right? Okay. So this gal uses these to ride a motorcycle and I won't be able to do much with the silver, but clean it. Um, and we discussed that when she dropped it off. But the important thing here is, all right, so you want to shake it. It has these little crystals. I don't know if you can see them and those crystals help bring the dirt to the surface in the foam. So uh, you definitely want to shake it before you use it. And here we go. All right. And I'm going to set this here. Okay. We're going to go right back here. All right. So uh, yeah, boy, if anybody wants to tell me from where you're watching, I'd love to know. So I also use this, um, my, this is a nylon brush and taco makes them. It's under the, uh, oh, I want to do one more thing. I am going to put a little towel down. There you go. Got my gloves. I got this to wipe up the stuff. And I also got this to help get in the little areas. I put this in the Amazon um, cart, the carousel. Okay, so here we go. I mean, just a good cleaning will make a huge difference. And it's this surface dirt that you want to pick up. Okay, can you guys see that all right? Wow, what a difference. It's amazing, you know, people think you have to go to a professional for this kind of thing, but really you can do all of this at home. Uh, this cleaner can be used on everything, your couches, your shoes, your handbags, fabric, suede, what have you. Um, silks, of course, are a bit more delicate, so you'd wanna be careful with that. See, this is where this little brush comes in handy. It just gets right underneath here. Sometimes I'll even um, use a toothbrush, an old toothbrush. Look at that. I mean, this is some pretty cool uh, detailing. I'm sure that she paid a lot for this. Let's see who made this. It's all leather. It kind of looks like a red wing, but I don't see, I don't see the maker on it. Okay, it's already looking much better. Okay, 
Um, I don't have to let this dry first. I, once I'm done with this, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the conditioner, I think, first. Um, Cause it's pretty dry. It's got, um, you know, it's dry right around here. So uh, we're almost there. And I'm thinking that uh, we dye it next because um, polish would be all right, but we want this to really pop. So we'll just um, step that aside and here we go. So Angelus makes shoe dye and I really like working with it. It's some of the, I've used other dyes and I really like the Angelus. It's not as smelly this on here so that I don't have too much mess but I especially want to get this front area I, I, it's like oh I think she told me that's where uh, she uses the the motorcycle lever she's doing her shifting here so it's been rubbing off so I'll do that and let's just do it I uh, take my Angelus and I usually put it in a recycled jar it makes it easier <clears throat> to get in and out of the jar. The, this is what the box looks like. And it's meant to do this. You poke this and then the dye sets in it. And that's how it's supposed to be balanced. You see that? Like that. But uh, like the dauber, it's just about the same size as the opening. And so I don't use mine that way. I use the jar and I use paint brushes. I've got the daubers just sitting inside there. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and I'll use the dauber. The dauber really gets the, uh, a, a bit more volume into the shoe. So here we go. It is so awesome to be here with you guys. I really love it. I look forward to it in the mornings as I'm getting ready. I think it's so cool that we can all meet virtually like this. What amazing time and technology. This is so fun. <clears throat> you know, these products are so easy to use. Um, I am going to go ahead and switch over to my brush. Well, actually, yeah. So let's go ahead and we will use a, I already have a dedicated black paintbrush. Let's see, let's use this one, this will work. All right, and then I like to use this to get right inside these areas. Isn't that nice? Right like that. Go right around this crease. Right here, it makes it look super clean when it's done. Just like that. Okay. Just, I love this. As a matter of fact, so let's just play with that for a minute. All right, I am going to use my, mm, let's see, let's use, yeah, we'll use this brush. And I'm gonna go right behind this because it'll make it pop. And I do have some silver polish. So before I send it to the client, I'll probably do a little silver polish on it. This is so pretty. It must be like, it looks like a custom concho. I've never seen one so pretty like this. This rose, wow, stunning. That looks great. Okay, see, already looks better. All right, and let's go ahead. I'm gonna use my brush to get into these areas here. Let's put it on here. And here we go. 
Hopefully you can see that pretty well. Uh, because I'm doing black on black, it's not as tricky. If this were a tan boot and I was trying to do a tan color, it would be tricky. And see, I'm using this nice flat brush around this area. Actually, you know what? Hello. Be smarter than the shoe. <laughs> make this a lot easier on myself hello okay gorgeous all right that's gonna make it a lot easier all right and any of our little um mistakes can all be hidden with some shoe polish afterwards which is really nice with our little horsehair brush Oh yeah, I put on the shopping cart um, a selection of horsehair brushes for the polish. And I also put a, a kit. There is a shoe shine kit by Money's Best, Money's Worth Best, that I carry in my store. And it's got every, it's got one of the light and one of the dark. So um, that's a nice kit just to, to buy for yourself. And I like to do the edges. Uh, this stuff is, these are really good for edging. Look at that, it just soaks it right in there. This is gonna look so awesome. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and do this surface here. I could use this, but I put a selection of brushes in the, um, the shopping carousel for a nice wider brush. I have this brush is dedicated to my black because once it's on that die, you don't want to use it for something else. So look at that, just covers it up. I don't want to turn it towards you too much because I don't want the die to run all over the place, but you can see this just really gets the bigger areas. Um, I did a video called how to dye a leather sofa or a chair and I used this version of a brush, but in the, it was about that wide. And it's, it's included in that shopping carousel for you guys. And you know, they're so affordable, you can just dedicate it to that color. That's what I do. See, it dries so fast. As soon as like the, the front is already dry, so I could go ahead and put um, polish on it. So you don't have to, it doesn't have to, uh, be bone dry. Oh yeah, that's fun. This is so much fun, you guys. I mean, if you have something in your closet that's not looking so great, but you love how it feels, especially if it's real leather, you can do all kinds of things. I mean, this this leather boot, it could have a painted design on it. Um, it can't go lighter unless you've just painted it lighter, but then you should want to use like an aerosol with some very light coats so that it doesn't crack as it wears. But you can't dye it lighter. I get that question asked a lot. Okay. I'm trying to do this so you guys can see it. Okay, I think that's everything on that. Very nice. Okay, and let's look at this has been painted. Um, okay, just for this, the idea of being super satisfied, I think that we should polish this right now and I'm gonna go grab it. So I have a dedicated um, Tupperware, you know, one of those drawer sets, and I just have it by color. And so we're gonna do the black. I'll put this here. So first, I'm going to use, we'll move the die. First, I'm gonna use the Money's Worth Best Cream Shoe Polish. And I just have an old cut up t-shirt, towel, you know, a little rag. And we'll just go ahead and 
This is a moisturizer with a tint. So it's actually gonna soften this boot and uh, add some moisture back into this leather. And Um, I could have done a conditioner first, but I don't think this boot really requires it right now. Um, I can always do that later, but I want to just show you how beautiful this is going to look when it's all done. And I'm really just really pushing that, uh, that cream wax right into this um, leather. So all these little cracks in the folds. This side. And you know, the, the kind of products that you use will really depend on the finish that you get. Go for the, the high end, the ones that have been around for a while, Lincoln, uh, you'll see some Lincoln wax we're gonna use next. Uh, this Money's Worth Best is the next one. Um, I used to use a Meltonian, they don't make that anymore, but any of you that are familiar with it, it's a really great product, but this is equal. I love it. All right, now let's do, all right, so we're going to use the Lincoln Stain Wax, that light off of it, and there's just a little, you just, it says press to open, like that. And uh, this is called a horsehair dauber. And it comes in, it's suggested there in the carousel and it also comes in that little shoe repair kit. And just get, put the wax on the dauber. And this is nice because it, this gets all the areas that you might have missed, okay? So I like to, you know, push it into these little cracks right down here because it's all gonna shine up and buff out. It'll look so great. So on my Amazon shopping cart, um, again, if you're watching this on the replay, um, uh, it's amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash Terry Edmonds. You could also go to terryedmonds.com and there I have my entire uh, selection of my very favorite shoe repair supplies. It's a full list of everything that I use. I've used for years and years and years. All right, now let's move on. We are going to buff this. I have a couple of different choices. The one that I, give, I have given to you guys is this. It's a horsehair brush. Um, the one that I have suggested for you, I believe, is the Taco brand, the T-A-C-C-O. Um, I have this original, like, star, that star is not around anymore. I bought this with the business, but a good brush will last you for years, and you can just clean them. This brush is probably at least 30 years old. <laughs> uh, so they hold up. Pay, get, you get what you pay for. All right, so here we go. And the key to buffing a shoe is to make sure that you get the friction of lifting the brush on and off of the shoe. And look, it, it, it heats it up and it makes it super shiny from the friction. So here we go, let's keep doing it and then I'll show you what it looks like. I'm trying to hold it so you guys can see. Gorgeous, gorgeous, oh my gosh, this is getting such an amazing shine. Look at that, just amazing. So uh, this kind of polish um, cannot be used on suede, only on smooth leather. And you really have to use your muscles. <laughs> But that's how you really get that beautiful finish. If you're going for a spit shine, um, you can do it, of course, with spit, but 
You can also use rubbing alcohol and there are a lot of YouTube videos on it and it takes time, but you can get a real glassy look to it. I mean, it it's, it's, could almost pass for patent. It's so shiny now. Uh, I'll hold it up to the, the other side so we can see how we've come so far. Oh yeah, so uh, Amazon is offering Amazon uh, Prime Wardrobe. So for those of you that are shopping at home, you can sign up for Prime Wardrobe and you qualify, it's like 10 items up to $300 and they'll ship to you any of the items that meet that, stay within that range, and you have a little window of time to try them on before, it's try before you buy. <laughs> so uh, that's really helpful these days because it's, you know, a lot of people aren't shopping, aren't trying on things in the store. So this makes it, you know, in the comfort of your own home, test some things out. Prime wardrobe. All right, so there we go. <clears throat> this is fun. I always love this part. Look at that. What a difference. It's just so awesome. And of course, uh, you know, once I treat this and I'll polish it, I'll polish the silver too. Um, and then once it sets back on there, I mean, gorgeous. I see why she wanted to save it. I think she will be so excited to see it. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that's all our time, you guys. Woo, time flies. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Thanks for following my Amazon Live show and participating. Every purchase you make, I get a small percentage. That is how I support my YouTube channel, which is really the love of my life, creating art. So thank you for joining. Mom, if you're watching, I love you. And everybody else, I will see you next Friday, 9 to 9.45. From Maui, Hawaii, aloha.